Pakistan's biggest challenge, it seems so far, is the infrastructure to support AI. Uh, on top of that, and Shamun, you are the first in the financial industry to introduce AI to Mahana Wealth. So I'd start asking it, uh, it from you that what are the regulation and regulatory policy issues in Pakistan that can be a challenge for AI? Okay. Uh, well, uh, obviously, AI has been used in Pakistan in multiple areas, I'd say. And, and yeah, like, so, so obviously, we are trying to employ those techniques in the, in the financial industry. Uh, as we all know, Pakistan is one of the lowest in the, in the financial inclusion in the world and, and savings and so forth. And one biggest risk has been uh, a huge paper worth KYC and so forth. Unfortunately, most of the stuff that we are, we are dealing with is just bringing Pakistan up to speed what the world has seen for the last 20 years of like seamless onboarding, KYC and so forth. Uh, but uh, in, in, in association with that, we are not just uh, doing the basic IT work. We are trying to employ as much of automation and AI uh, uh, techniques in, into that. So like, for example, seamless onboarding, KYC handling, uh, personalized advice to the individual based on their uh, their particular situation so full, uh, and also building investment products which are being created by algorithms uh, uh, and, and so forth. Uh, so basically we are trying to just promote financial inclusion in, 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 in the youth uh, of, of Pakistan and providing them with the investment strategies which are transparent, personalized and, and, and low cost. As far as the challenges are concerned, I guess the biggest challenges, uh, the challenges have been the regulatory uh, side of it because the regulators are not on top of uh, of of how the new technologies entail. So uh, and uh, and like still like someone sitting in SCCP or state bank, they're still learning how the basics of technology works, let alone the AI and so forth. And the second is industries in tech infrastructure. So even if you come up with the with the very sophisticated technology and model. The, the industry is not capable uh, to cater that. For example, um, I have experience in algorithmic trading and high frequency trading. And when we were integrating with the, with the stock exchange, they could not pick up the load when we, we were sending um, the, the, the trade orders. Uh, and as I understand, obviously the world has invested millions of dollars uh, to get that capability. Uh, but in Pakistan, uh, we still believe a, a website is, is uh, is a technology. So in a country trying to bring that, but uh, having said that, I'd say uh, what we have achieved so far uh, uh, is, is something that I'm, 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 I'm very proud of. And it's the reason is that we work hand in hand uh, uh, with the regulators, uh, SECP, and we sat down with them and we, we introduced a concept of digital wealth management back in 2022. And we gave them a presentation and the result of that was that they came up with a digital AMC framework, which is still evolving. Uh, we are constantly in touch with them and they are, uh, they, they are making it easy for everybody uh, just to make sure that uh, a retailer or, or any individual investor can easily onboard the KYC is not a hassle and so forth. So it's just very heartening to see. And I guess this sort of public private partnership with the regulators, I guess that can uh, definitely change.